Hey puzzle friends, how's it going? Welcome back, or if you're new, I'm Juby and welcome to my channel. This is a place for anyone who loves puzzles, whether you're new to puzzling or you consider yourself an expert. Today, I thought it'd be fun to try out these beautiful wooden puzzles from the brand Twig Puzzles. Um, I briefly talked about these in my recent uh, December puzzle haul video, which I'll link up the top. Um, but yeah, Twig Puzzles is an Australian company. Um, they're based on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia and they're a small family run business. Um, they specialize in like just making beautiful wooden puzzles. And from what I was reading, um, they also design and hand draw the shapes in each of their puzzle designs. So yeah, that's really cool. Um, so the ones I have here, I've got this one here, which is called Ellie Elephant and it's 174 pieces. Um, and the size is uh, 41.5 centimeters by 29 centimeters. I'm not too sure what that is in inches, my apologies. Um, so I guess a bit bigger than A4. Um, anyway, it features, yeah, this beautiful like shaped puzzle of an elephant and insides like this colorful floral sort of design and the whimsy pieces that are in it are sort of like little um, safari animals. Like we've got a giraffe, a rhino, monkey, and I'm sure there's like plenty of others in there too. So yeah, that looks really fun to do. I'm definitely excited to do that one. Um, yeah, just love the colors and the patterns and I think the little whimsy pieces are gonna be really cute. And then this other one is a higher piece count, um, 315 pieces, but it's actually very similar in size. Um, it's 29 centimeters by 42 centimeters. So yeah, re really similar, but instead of a shaped puzzle, this is a rectangle um, and it features this beautiful, colorful bird, I guess, in flight. Um, and this one's actually by the artist Lisa Morales, Morales. I'm not too sure on the pronunciation, but apparently she's a Texas based artist and just creates beautiful images um, using like sort of different colorful papers to create collages. So yeah, really, really love this one. It's really stunning. Um, I think this one might be quite tricky just because of the sort of, it does sort of have a semi gradiated uh, background but yeah because there's quite a lot of this sort of sky background it might be quite tricky um, yeah so in this video I'm planning to actually do both puzzles um, I figure since they're both smallish piece counts I can hopefully get them done in a reasonable time um, so in a minute we'll unbox them both and sort of see what's included uh, what to expect that sort of thing and then I'm thinking I might start uh, by doing the elephant puzzle first just because it's a smaller piece count um, in my mind I feel like the smaller piece count means it's going to be easier but not necessarily since it is a shaped puzzle it could be trickier I'm not too sure um, but yeah so I'm super excited to try both of these I haven't done that many wooden puzzles in my puzzling experience so yeah super super looking forward to these okay so let's unbox both of these and have a look at what we're dealing with. Um, so let's quickly look at the outsides first. Um, so the Ellie Elephant one is basically got the image on the front of the puzzle and also features like some of the, like an example, I guess, of some of the whimsy pieces. It has the piece amount, the size of the puzzle, and it also just says uh, wooden, wooden jigsaw puzzle, uniquely shaped pieces, premium quality. And then this one on the sides, it just has like the website uh, tweakpuzzles.com.au and the logo so and then on the back it's just got a bit more info uh, just again shows the piece count and the size and then uh, yeah just has a little blurb about their company and their sort of social media stuff um, yeah and not recommended for children under three years due to the small parts obviously um, and then the outside of this one is pretty similar. It's got the picture of the artwork on the front, um, shows you an example of some of the whimsy pieces um, and has the artist's name. Again, just has the same sort of information, size and piece count, that sort of thing. Um, this, the sides are a little different. It has like the company logo or name on a couple of the sides and then the website and this one. And then this side actually shows again the picture of the artwork and website and a bit of info about the size and piece count. And yeah, the back's pretty much the same as well. The only difference is it has, it includes a sort of blurb or bio about the artist as well. So I'm not too sure 
They haven't listed like an artist for the elephant one, so I don't know if they've self-designed that image or if it's some sort of like stock image, like for the pattern inside the elephant, I'm not too sure. They haven't sort of really uh, mentioned that, but yeah, it definitely explains a bit about the artist on this one. Um, and yeah, and then just a bit of a blurb about the company and social media and stuff. So let's open them up. Um, so yeah, they both also come in these cute little square boxes, which I quite like, easy for storage and nice and compact. Okay, so uh, the inside, it seems to just come in a, oh, like a, just a plain Ziploc bag with, well, with this sort of sticker showing the um, puzzle image on the front. And yeah, you um, can pretty easily see all the pieces. They look pretty nice, very colorful. So we'll definitely open up these pieces in a minute and have a closer look, but I'll, I'll put them away. But yeah, nothing else, pretty simple. Um, yeah, pretty straightforward. And then I'm guessing probably the same for this one. Um, whoa, whoa, nearly, nearly lost our puzzle lid, uh, puzzle box lid there. And then yeah, this one's the same, nothing else in there, just very straightforward, nice Ziploc bag and just an image of what the puzzle is. And yeah, and again, the pieces look pretty bright and colorful as well. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll, we'll look at both of the pieces, but I think we'll look at these ones first, then do this puzzle, and then we'll uh, look at these with, just before we do this puzzle. I think that makes a bit more sense. Um, so yeah, let's uh, now have a closer look at the elephant pieces. Okay, so I've emptied out all the uh, elephant pieces onto the table because I'm planning to just do it straight onto my table, not on a puzzle board or anything. Um, and one of the first things I noticed when I opened up the bag was actually the smell. Um, uh, in a good way, uh, depending what if you like the smell or not. Um, so it's a very like wood fire camping kind of smell, um, which I've definitely experienced with a couple of other wooden puzzles. Um, I think it's just sort of like maybe how they're laser cut or something and where it like, I guess, burns or scorches the wood um, and it creates that sort of burnt wood smell, which I personally don't mind. I quite think it's sort of quite comforting, um, but just something to note in case that is something you don't, you're not that keen on. Um, so straight away, I can also see that the pieces are just really colorful and bright. So that's, that's good that you know, they kind of seem to match the picture on the box. Um, so yeah, like pretty, pretty colorful and bright it would seem, so that's good. And yeah, the pieces are just sort of plain on the back. Um, they're fairly thick, they seem very sturdy. Um, even like, let's see, like this thin one seems, it doesn't seem really, I'm not gonna like try and bend it too hard, but it seems sturdy. It doesn't feel these little bits and this pointy bit, they don't, feel too fragile like I think I can sort of handle these pretty easily without having to worry too much about that um, and then yeah so yeah we have this beautiful bright image on one side and it seems like I guess it's sort of printed onto the wood um, I can sort of see like kind of the glossiness of the print paint I guess like so yeah I guess it's sort of a pattern that's printed on um, which I've seen in some other wooden puzzles too which seems pretty common um, yeah, so seems fairly standard, seems nice and sturdy, um, yeah, nice colours. Um, so let's have a look at some of the cute whimsy pieces. So this I think might be a, it's got a sort of spiky back, so that kind of makes me think it's a hyena by the looks of it. And then, oh, that's not what I was expecting, but a guitar, it's pretty cute. So. I was expecting more like to be just sort of animals in this, but I guess there's like other cute shapes too. Not sure why a guitar, but maybe I'll find some other pieces that might sort of help me figure that out, but I don't mind, it's cute. Um, we've got a lovely little giraffe here, that's really nice. Um, yeah, and even with the thin legs, like they don't feel like they're gonna snap or anything, like they feel pretty, pretty strong. Um, what else? Oh, got a cute hippo. I'm really liking this pattern in them. Like it just looks really pretty in the pieces. And yeah, these whimsies like are really nicely sort of shaped. Like they, they look really good. Um, what else have we got? I mean, we've sort of got all the other pieces seem to be very like, I guess, 
sort of random cut, which is also pretty common with wooden puzzles. Um, and I, I'm guessing like this one here, it's sort of got like a strong black line. And from looking at the, if I look closely at the box, it does seem like the edges kind of have a black line. So I'm guessing that's gonna be an edge piece. Um, so that will probably help me when it comes to like putting this together. Um, so let's put those aside. Let's see, oh, I found a cute turtle. Let's see what other whimsy pieces. Um, oh, what's that? It's like some sort of yak or buffalo maybe because it's got sort of horns on its head. Definitely, in, yeah, I definitely like these pieces. They're really cool. Um, what's this? Oh, we've got a rhino. What else? Oh, it's cute, a palm tree. I mean, I don't know how many whimsy pieces there are, but he's like a monkey. That's really cute. Um, yeah, it's definitely heaps. So I guess like a, is it a crocodile or an alligator? I think it's a crocodile. Um, but yeah, so I'm pretty impressed so far that like it's only 174 pieces, but like it already has like a lot of whimsy pieces. So I've definitely had like some wooden puzzles that just don't seem to have a lot. That's a nice bird. Um, so yeah, I'm already pretty impressed and I'm, I won't pull them all out. Um, hopefully you'll see some of them as I like put the puzzle together. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely excited to sort of see what other ones I come across. I'm expecting there might be a few more. Um, yeah, so I think now is a good time to actually talk about how I think my plan to approach this puzzle. So I don't normally do shape puzzles or wooden ones, um, but from what I have experienced, they can be quite tricky because they're very irregular shaped. But I think my plan of attack is to, well, the two things that stand out to me is that, yeah, there seems to be a fairly thick black line around the, like, I guess, border pieces or edge pieces. So like that looks like one and they tend to have smoother edges. Um, that doesn't mean that, you know, it couldn't be like on the inside, like obviously around the ear and even sort of the stomach there. It does seem to have a black thick line as well or a gray line. And there could be smooth edges, like false edges on the inside too, I'm not too sure. So I'll probably like try and separate some of these like ones with the thick black line. Um, and then the other thing I can see that really stands out is that two of the legs are blue um, instead of this sort of multicolored. So I think, yeah, I'm gonna try and pull out pieces that are predominantly blue as well. And I guess it'll at least get me started on these legs. So that's my plan. I don't know how it's gonna go. We'll just have to sort of see, but um, yeah, let's sort of start by, I guess, turning over these pieces and then maybe I'll, yeah, I think I'm just gonna make a big mess here and just turn all these pieces over Oh, there's another, I've got a, a lion, I guess. Um, yeah, I think it's like best to just turn them all over and then sort of see what we're dealing with. We've got another, is it a gorilla? I really like the sort of sound of turning over wooden pieces. Like it's, I don't know, something a bit nostalgic about it, I think. Um, I guess we, you know, maybe a lot of us as like really young kids probably had like sort of wooden puzzles, probably a lot more basic than this. Oh, that's cute. Got a little love heart. Um, so yeah, I think there's a bit of nostalgia in wooden puzzles. And there's just something a bit special about them. Oh, that's cool. It's like, I guess a fly. Wow, there's like definitely a lot of uh, whimsy pieces in this. So yeah, I'm really impressed. Um, from what I can see, there was only the one size of this puzzle as well. So it wasn't like Wentworth or Uni Dragon where, you know, you, you can choose a size and then it's got like, I don't know what this is. <laughs> um, it's got like, you know, different whim amount of whimsy pieces based on like the size, but so it was just this one size. So yeah, already, oh. I guess there's a star piece in here because I can see the outside of us, outside of it. Oh wow, even more like, even more whimsy pieces. Oh, there's the star. Yeah, that's really cool. I'm really liking this. 
Um, so I'm going to just continue turning all these over and then I think I'm going to like, you know, start putting these blue ones together um, and also like any that have sort of like, I guess, the sort of thick black line on them as well. Um, yeah, I'll, I'm going to definitely take over this table in a minute, covering it all in wooden pieces. But yeah, so that's the plan and I guess we'll sort of see how it goes. So I really love how the Ellie elephant puzzles turned out. It's just a really lovely shape. Um, it's very bold and dramatic. It's just really well done. And all the colors and patterns in it are just so really like just so beautiful and vibrant. Um, yeah, it's just really pretty to look at. Um, it was definitely quite a challenging puzzle, even though it was 174 pieces, I think it was. It still took me like an hour and a half. Um, so definitely wasn't a walk in the park. It was pretty challenging. Um, especially when it came to like just sort of figuring out what piece went with what piece and what trying to visualize what piece fit into what gaps it was quite tricky uh, definitely quite a different sort of style of thinking than your kind of like average ribbon cut puzzle um, but you know that's just part of the fun and challenge of a, a regular shaped uh, wooden puzzle I guess so yeah it's still quite fun doing it um, yeah, and I definitely changed my strategy going along. Like I still went and did my like blue legs first, but then instead of sort of working on the black edge pieces or the black lined edge pieces first, um, I kind of scrapped that and just, I'm not really sure why, I think just cause it seemed like a more fun way to do it, but I ended up focusing on like the sort of more like distinct details of the pattern and then just trying to match up uh, different parts of the pattern um, so I don't know if that was like a more fast or slower way to do it, but you know, it was fun and I got there in the end. So I think that's all that counts. Um, so let's have a bit of a closer look as well. Um, so yeah, as you can see, the pattern's just really detailed and very pretty. Um, yeah, I really love it. Definitely recommend it to, you know, both kids and adults, I think would really enjoy doing this. Um, a couple of the cons I had though, um, when I was finished, I noticed my fingers were sort of covered in a bit of this sort of blackish dust. And I've definitely had that with like one or two other um, wooden puzzles. And I think, I don't know if it's from the type of wood or if it's from where the laser cutter uh, hit the wood or the print, but yeah, it just leaves a bit of a yeah, dusty feel to your fingers, but easily fixed with just washing them. And then the other thing, which is, I think just a sort of characteristic of wooden puzzles is the fit is quite loose um, and wobbles around a lot. Like you can, sort of see it moves pretty easily. Um, so sometimes it can be a little tricky to sort of fit pieces in the middle of others. Like you have to sort of hold them still and like to put them in. Um, but you know, it's not really an issue. It's just a different way of puzzling, I guess. 
So yeah, definitely no puzzle pickups when you're doing a wooden puzzle, I don't think. I've never seen one anyway. Um, yeah, so yeah, that was quite fun and challenging overall and I'd definitely do it again. Um, so in a sec, I'm gonna switch over to doing the bird puzzle. Um, so it'll be a rectangle shape. And yeah, we'll just sort of do the same sort of thing where I will have a quick look at the pieces and like look at some of the whimsy pieces and also just chat about how I'm gonna sort of my plan of attack or how I'm gonna approach that puzzle and then get into some more puzzling. Okay, so I've tipped out all the pieces onto the table and it's quite a lot more than the elephant one. This one's got a uh, got 315 pieces instead of 174, so fair bit of difference. Um, so yeah, straight away, just like the other one, I can smell the sort of wood, wood fire smoke smell, which I don't mind. And in terms of like the pieces, they seem pretty brightly colored. Um, yeah, seems to match what's on the box, which is good. Um, yeah, like the box is pretty bright. The pieces look pretty bright, so yeah, that's good. And then, yeah, the um, the reverse side's just sort of the plain color. This looks like it's the same sort of thickness and the sides are the same. And yeah, the top um, looks pretty similar. To me though, this print seems like less glossy than the elephant one like especially some of these like blue ones you can sort of see the grain of the wood a bit more um, so maybe I don't know if it's a different style of paint or printing like it almost seems like it's soaked into the wood more or something like that it just seems less glossy or maybe a bit more glossy where there's brighter colors so I'm not too sure on what these sort of process is for printing the picture onto it but feels like this one might be done a different way um, so let's have a look at a few of the fun whimsy pieces. Um, randomly there seems to be a goat. I don't know why, um, but I like him. So there we go. Um, there's like a beautiful sort of flower. That's really cool. And something I've noticed is like, there's all these like really fun, like outlines of people doing like different activities. So like that one's doing a handstand and then, oh, what's this one? someone sort of dancing or I think um, what else oh there's it's that guy I think he's like break dancing maybe so yeah there's all these like little like people doing different activities oh here we go I guess like dancing more or less like this looks like sort of almost like a ballet dancer so yeah it's pretty cool and then yeah there's lots of other fun shapes as well um, like this beautiful sort of swirly shape. Um, what else is there? I mean, all the, of course, there's all the other pieces are very like weird and irregular. So I'm sure I'm gonna be in for a uh, challenging time, just like the other one. Oh, here we go, this is cool. It's like a hand with another smaller hand cut out. So it's pretty cool. And oh, and a love heart with like an arrow. So this one seems to be like a sort of mix of, I guess, stuff kind of like actual things like the goat and the people and then a bit more like abstract kind of shapes. Um, so yeah. So anyway, um, I'm sure there's like probably some more in here as well. But let's talk about sort of my approach for the puzzle. So I'm not 100% sure exactly how to approach this because I'm sure it's going to be difficult. Um, I'm sort of thinking like maybe doing more of the colorful bits first, like the wings and the rest of the bird might be the easiest approach. Possibly finding the blue edges, like there definitely seems to be um, pieces like this that sort of have a flat line. So I'm guessing, unless it's a false edge, that it is actually part of the sort of border. Um, so yeah, I could separate those out and see if I can fit those together, but otherwise it's just gonna, well, I guess the other thing is we have distinct, distinctly shaped pieces to some degree. So, you know, I can look at trying to go by piece shape instead of like on the blue parts of the puzzle instead of, you know, just trying to find edges. Um, so let's start sort of turning some of these over. And, you know, I guess I'll try and put some of the colorful pieces together, I think. The colored pieces definitely look really pretty. It's a 
you know, a really lovely sort of collage pattern that the artist has done. So I think it's going to turn out to be a really pretty puzzle in the end. I um, have no idea how long this is going to take me. Hopefully not all night. I do want to eat dinner at some stage. Um, but I mean, the other one only took an hour and a half. So even if it took longer than that, that's still not too bad, I guess. Oh, another hand. That's cool. Um, yeah, so I guess I'll continue to sort of turn all these over and, you know, and then have a go at putting all these crazy, interesting pieces together and see what we end up with. So I'm back and as you can see I've finished this beautiful bird puzzle and yeah it was pretty fun but also pretty challenging um, just like the elephant one that was like both enjoyable but also quite challenging as well so this one was 315 pieces and it took me just under three hours so it did take quite a while um, I yeah I, I really love how it's turned out the like the whimsy pieces are really cute like you can definitely see them very easily in this sort of like lightish bluish background. Um, can't see them quite as easily in the bird. And speaking of the bird, I just love the colors and the textures and patterns. Like so much of the artist's, I guess, original detail of the artworks really sort of come through really well in this format. So yeah, I really love it. Um, so I, I started with the bird, which was sort of my plan. And that took a little while, but it wasn't too bad. And then the bluish background, um, I didn't end up starting with the border. Um, I pretty much kind of intuitively kind of end up placing some of these like more like mottled pinky yellowy areas, like I guess because they were just easier to sort of spot and find. 
Um, and then the process of doing the blue kind of slowed down a lot because it was pretty difficult to sort of figure out what was what with the rest. And I did use, you know, the whimsy shapes to help me where I could and obviously did do some border placement as well. Um, but yeah, so it was the, definitely the background was probably the trickiest part. Um, yeah, in terms of like issues, um, yeah, just a little bit of dust left on my hands, not quite as much as the elephant one. So I don't know if that's to do with like the, the color, the print color or what, um, but yeah, no big deal. And of course, like the other wooden puzzle and pretty much all wooden puzzles that I've ever played with. Um, yeah, it is like a loose fit and things move around a lot. So if I try to move this, yeah, you can see like it moves. So yeah, but that's just a wooden puzzle thing. So um, in a sec, um, I'm just going to have a chat about sort of final thoughts on these puzzles and yeah, and how my experience was and uh, yeah, so let's, let's have a chat. Okay, so let's have a quick chat about what I thought of the twig puzzles and my experience with them. Um, so if you've been watching up until this point, you probably already know that I actually really enjoyed them and just thought they turned out really lovely. Like I just think they look stunning. I love the colors in both and the patterns in both. They're just really vibrant. Um, yeah. So I think in terms of like the artwork, it's great. Um, wouldn't change anything. Just, yeah, they match the box in terms of like, you know, what you, uh, yeah, what you're showing on the box, the, the colors match and everything like that. So yeah, that's great. Um, and yeah, in terms of like, the quality of the pieces um, and the wood, like it seems really good to me. I mean, I haven't done a huge amount of wooden puzzles. So like I'm just sort of comparing with some of the ones I've done. And to me, they seem like nice quality, um, you know, no, no sharp bits or anything like that. Um, they seem, the wood seems quite thick and all the pieces seem very sturdy, even thinner pieces. They don't feel like they're gonna snap or anything like that. Um, and they all fit together nicely. Um, like I mentioned, like, they have, they do have a loose fit, but that seems to be the case with like all wooden puzzles. As far as I know, it's just, just a wooden puzzle thing. Um, I'd say the only sort of downside would be just the dust that I got on my fingers after doing both, probably a bit more on the elephant one. I don't know why it could be the wood or the something from the printing, um, but it's, it wasn't a big deal. I could easily wash my hands and you know, I've gotten dust on my hands from like normal puzzles too. So. Um, and the only other sort of maybe con is I found the elephant one, something about the printing can be a little glary in some lights. So I guess if you were to get that one or something similar, it's just something to be aware of that you might need to set up your lights to, to help see the puzzle better. Um, but it wasn't a huge deal, obviously got it together in the end. Um, and one other thing that was actually a very positive thing that I forgot to mention is. I would say that the pieces on both of these really like exceeded my expectations in that um, there were just so many whimsies in both and there were just so many like really fun and like cute little shapes. Like I loved all the sort of safari jungle animals in the elephant and this one's like got lots of different birds and people dancing and like hands and love hearts, like so many, like such a variety and such a large amount of whimsies, like more, I think there were so many more whimsies in these two than I've done in any other wooden puzzle. So yeah, I just, yeah, I really like that. Even this one only being 174 pieces, there was still like a substantial amount of whimsy pieces. So yeah, super happy with that, very impressed. Um, and it just made the experience way more fun as well. Um, so speaking of which, I think like, you know, both these puzzles would be great for both like kids and adults. And especially with all the whimsy pieces, I think it just makes it really fun and kids would really like that. And also just the colors, like especially the elephant, the shape, the whimsies and like the pattern, I think kids would probably really be into that. Um, yeah, so definitely recommend them so far, like in terms of, you know, uh, image and quality and whimsies. Um, let's have a quick chat about price. So um, I'm only gonna talk about Australian dollars because so far it seems like they only sell within Australia. Um, I'm gonna link their details down below in the description so you can check them out. But I guess if you're overseas and wanting them, it could still be worth getting in contact with the owners. Maybe they can 
do some arrangement shipping them overseas I don't know or or you could be patient and maybe they'll eventually sell them overseas um, you know I'm not too sure but um, yeah so in Australian dollars um, they were pretty similar in price this one on the website is $69 and this one's 65 I'm not too sure why they're so close in price I would have thought being less pieces it might be less expensive but it is what it is um, and actually I got 20% off on top of that so this became 55 20 and this one became 52 and even now when I check the website they're having like a buy one get one 50% off so if you're in Australia and you want these now's the time to get them but it does seem like they have sales fairly frequently so keep an eye out um, so yeah like in terms of that price it is in, if you're talking like average puzzles that's a high price uh, like you know if you buy a Eurogravix or a Raven, Ravensburger puzzle here you know you're looking at maybe 30 35 dollars that sort of thing so they're like twice the price of something like that but but we're talking about not average puzzles we're talking about wooden puzzles um, with whimsy pieces that have been like hand designed and drawn so you know like it's a I guess it's a whole different category like so I guess you can I, I don't feel like it's fair to compare these to like your sort of average cardboardy kind of puzzle um, so yeah so to me like yeah they are still kind of pricey but then comparing them to like some of the other wooden puzzle brands out there that seems like a fairly normal price like definitely Wentworth um, Unidragon even the Australian brand Mr Bob they're all quite expensive like you know they're definitely not you know a uh, cheap puzzle by any means so yeah when I compare this pr these prices to the prices of those I'd say these are pretty normal maybe even on the lower end actually um, so yeah um, anyway I think I've rambled on long enough um, yeah I guess overall definitely love these would gladly buy more from the website because they have some really beautiful other designs available too and you know the price I'm fine with the price you know I think you get really beautiful uh, quite like uniquely designed puzzles beautiful image beautiful quality great whimsies so yeah had a great experience and would totally recommend them so I guess in the comments below let me know what you thought of these puzzles and you know the brand in general have you ever tried them um, or, you know and let me know have you tried other wooden puzzles and what what was your experience do you like them any brands you recommend um, yeah so let me know all your thoughts and experience with wooden puzzles in the comments below and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can keep up to date with all things puzzles and for even more puzzle content you can check me out over on instagram at jigsaw underscore juby thanks so much and see you next time bye